Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today and thank you for coming back for tutorials. If you've seen the last couple of weeks, we've had paper showcases, celebration showcase, new product showcase, even my big announcement about us opening in Belgium and Ireland. So <laughs> back with the tutorial. How cute is this? This is the Hippest Hippos stamp set and the dies, which are free during celebration with some of our new in colours. So this is the Starry Sky and then the paper is the Orchid Oasis. I'm going to do a slightly different version of it. I'm going to show you how to make it. OK, you need piece of cardstock that is five and a half by eight and a quarter inches if you are in north america and you work in eight and a half by 11 keep yours to eight and a half inches wide 14 by 21 centimeters i have designed it so that you can make two from one sheet of cardstock that's how good i am to you and here is the other bit with some I've, I, to be fair, I have chunked this off just to do my die cutting, but yeah, you can get two from a sheet. Okay, on the long side, I'm just looking for the right hand of my stylus. On the long side, score it at one inch, four, five, and eight. And that's why if you're in North America and you work in eight and a half by 11, leave it to eight and a half inches. In metric, two and a half, 10, 12 and a half, and 20. On the short side, score it at one inch. Oops, and don't jump it like I've just done. But then come back to your original side where you've got this, this horizontal line at the bottom. And we're going to part score it at half an inch down to about three and a half inches. And again at four and a half inches down to that three and a half inch mark. And in metric... That part score is at one and a quarter inches and that part score is at 11 and a quarter. Okay, yes, I still have my cold. Five weeks now. Actually, it's three, at least three different colds all in one. I brought one back from Orlando with me at the end of May. It disappeared for a day or two and then I had a fresh one while I was in Venice. And then I came back and it's turned into a different cold. I've been back from Venice at the point of time of filming. I've been back for a week and a half, I think, two weeks. I don't remember. I've not been back. It feels like I've not been back very long. Um, and yet and I'm into a different cold again. It's not COVID. I am regularly testing. Um, it just makes for not the greatest voice when speaking. Okay, so at the top of that skinny bit, 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 I've just nicked off a little bit, taken away that skinny rectangle, and I'm just cutting on the straight part of the rectangle and into that square. Oh, and I haven't done a little bit of scoring. Oh, not good. What I need to do is I need to do a score line from the bottom of that part score we didn't get down very far and I'm going to go from there down to there and there and the same on this one. So just use a steel rule and score it up. Just having a think. I've been back from Venice two weeks. That's how long. It's lovely. Don't ever recommend going on holiday back to back in the way that I did though. That was a nightmare just getting over jet lag and back on a plane again but you know it was fixed as to when jack could get annual leave for us to go to orlando and then obviously my wedding anniversary is a fixed date it's a fixed point in time um so <laughs> yeah at least i didn't have to fully unpack though all my toiletries and makeup and hair accessories just stayed in the suitcase um, but I think that's probably part of why I didn't quite get over the first cold and picked up another one because I was just a bit run down. So, okay. And herein lies the reason why you guys with eight and a half by 11, just leave it as that eight and a half by point. Okay. So I've got my paper on the front there and then I'm going to fold in the, no, I'm not. I'm going to fold in the back. And then the side. So I'm going to blob a little bit of glue that's oh very gummed up. Oh no, there is some coming out. A bit of glue there and there, and fold it up, and then some on there and fold it over. Oh, 
oh, you know what I meant to do? I meant to, I meant to stamp first. Stamp first, die cut later. Forgot. Okay, so the hippo I used this time was sort of like a running one. Um, because I liked the goggles. I thought they were really cute. Look at all of those. Maybe I should have gone with a different colour and had a, a ballerina one. I don't know now. Oh, I'm going to do a floral one with an umbrella. So that is this one here. Let me get that stamped up first and at least the ink will dry a bit. Hopefully. Because I want my mint. My mento, my memento. <laughs> okay, let's just leave that to dry a little bit. And then what other shapes have I got? So I like the wibbly bit at the bottom. So do we think that's that one, isn't it? Okay. And I don't want those, but I do want some flowers. And I like the umbrella. I've got the goggles and snorkel there. Maybe we could do sunglasses on this one. That would be cool. No, that would be silly. Let's just have flowers. And my wibbly line. Yeah, we'll do some flowers. How many is that? Oh, no, we need even num odd numbers. some washy going so this just needs a little bit across there just to hold that in place then what colour shall I do my flower? I don't know, I haven't got any paper ready ooh, that might be quite nice I have got some flirty flamingo oh that's a full card blank Flirty Flamingo might be quite fun. That could be quite fun. Right, so we'll have an umbrella in Flirty Flamingo. Don't really need the washi, but, you know, I've got it anyway. And then, what other colour? Mm. I don't know, I want another pink, I think. Do I want another pink? Yeah. I'll go with some of this again, another car blank, but that's okay. For the flowers, it means that putting a bit of washi just means I can fling them about a bit. Not essential, but. And then, for my little rainbow, for my little rainbow, that's the rainbow, for my little hippo. So cute. Mini cut and emboss. So let's do base plate, clear plate, hippo, top plate. Base plate, base plate, clear plate, and then a brolly. If you don't know what a brolly is, it's a British word for umbrella. <laughs> and flowers. Oop. Oh, that didn't glue at the bottom. Oh. Oh, and UPS have just turned up with a whole bunch of catalogues for me because I ran out. So many of you asked for catalogues that I ran out and had to order more, which is always good. I like to do that. So I'm going to hit pause for a second. Okay, I'm back. Yes, UPS just delivered another couple of hundred catalogues. Seriously. Oh, I love it that so many people wanted them, but I completely ran out. 
and um, yeah, had to, had to do an emergency overnight expedited order so I could get them out before, although you're watching this after the catalogue has gone live, I needed them out before the catalogue went live. Okay, what a fortuitous thing though, because it's allowed this time to dry. But also I haven't peeled it off. And yeah, my glue, I didn't hold it down, silly Sam. Okay, let's get some mini glue dots on that. But yeah, it's left that memento to dry, which is a good thing, which means hopefully I won't have um, blends alcohol markers bleeding. So yeah, always, always the hope. Right, um, okay, so let's start getting all these bits off and sorted. So this die just cuts a bit. It only cuts on the top edge, which is fine for me. Um, yeah, that's going to come off. So I'm just going to nick off there. Oh, and I didn't get it quite close enough to the edge there to cut off. So that's good. We can use that there. Let me stick that back with the rest of my dies, you know what they say, <laughs> or what I say, don't put it down, put it away, and you don't lose any. And there's two little flowers, there's the third one, so we'll just pull them off. Put them away. And then the last one was the brolly, so pop that out. that one way and get my little hippo out and hope that this washi hasn't welded itself to the paper okay put those away now let me start building up oh i forgot to cut a bit of white paper oh, i can cut that in a minute so let me do a super zoom in so i'm going to grab what am I grabbing this time? Grey granite. This one was smoky slate. I'm going to go grey granite this time. And I'm going to colour my little hippo. All over in the grey granite light. And then I'm going to come back in and pick some bits out in the darker one. I find myself concentrating when I'm doing this. I'm not talking, sorry. Pick a few little bits out with the dark. So just run around the edge of her face. And a bit on the belly. And then just sort of blend this out a bit. I'm going to come in with my flirty flamingo. The dark one. Ooh, gosh, that's very bright for the flower. The light one for the inside of her ears. And, you know, let's just paint her toenails too, because why not? A teeny, tiny, teeny, tiny little bit on the flower leaf. cute is that? So cute. So cute. Right, let me zoom back out again a bit. And let's cut a piece of paper. So I don't know how big I want it. How much did I do the first one? So I did two by two and a half inches, which is five by six and a half centimetres. by two and a half and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my little wibbly bit across the bottom I know it looks like um, water but I don't mind <laughs> I don't mind and then cut the excess off that I do need I'm going to get some dimensionals for my hippo. I 
wonder if she's going to hold this as well. I don't know that she can. Oh, she can't. Oh, don't need that then. Oh, and I've lost a flower. I wonder if I've lost a flower. <laughs> oh, my goodness sake. Yeah, that could be anywhere. <laughs> Apparently we're having two flowers. Oops. Oh, well. Two flowers it is. <laughs> we'll have a flower down there. We'll have a flower up there. Seriously, where did that go? I genuinely can't see it anywhere. Oh, well. I'll have a flower up there. And then all I want to do now is I'm just pushing in the sides. And so where we did that part score, that goes up. And then I'm going to grab some of this lovely ribbon and I'm going to tie a knot and I figured that these would be good just because bags so if you've seen on my Instagram a couple of weeks ago I tasked Oliver my 11 year old son with coming up with the stamp sets paper and dies that he wanted me to work with and then how he wanted me to theme it and we had a list of about oh gosh maybe 10 or 12 different themes things like birthday anniversary Christmas summer and just because was one and he came up with actually he had so much fun that he actually did all of July and August and I have stuck to his list so maybe on Wednesday I'll show you his list what do you think super cute he asked me to do hippos with a theme of just because I think I did that well anyway thank you ever so much for joining me hope to speak to you soon bye <laughs>